It's me. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. That burrito wasn't that good. I, I I get the burrito from there very often. The Santa pepper. This time it was more like uh, Hanukkah pepper. You know, it's a, it's a perfectly fine holiday. Something I just don't celebrate. Not because I choose to. It's just my my family doesn't. I don't even know how to celebrate. But people, I'm sure people love Hanukkah. And I'm sure people love that burrito. But my burrito was not up to the standards that I set for myself. And with that being said, Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed in the Gether invading. We've got I nothing to hide. Wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, sir. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best. Yeah, so am I, bud. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? Hates humans? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. The Sandman was... A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What will we what say? I, tell him? I had a bad dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This his attack was an act of war! He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop I'll him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a spectacle. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our oh, side. Lord. When have they ever done anything for humanity? I didn't mean it like that. If we expose Saren as a traitor, I just meant it like they're not gonna believe me. Vote his spectre status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us <coughs> as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Yes, sir. Wait, am I ahead of Captain Anderson, or am I below him? I think I'm below him. But that won't be for long if I have anything to say about it. Oh, nice. Do they have Kool-Aid in, uh, in the future? Damn, dude. Frick Shepard's looking slim tick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Commander. Oh, boy. What do you want? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might how, not be here. How did that happen? What do you mean? Didn't Jenkins die before I even met you? Uh, I don't really agree with either of these. I don't think she earned the right to live, but I, I don't think I'm going to... I mean, obviously, she knows soldiers die, so I don't need to reciprocate that. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, all right. We're playing it fast and loose. This is Frick Shepard speaking. This is not John Shepard, all right? Look into my face. This is the face of Frick Shepard. This is the jawline of Frick Shepard. Oh, no. I'm not trapped in here with me. 
Me is trapped in here with you. This looks like a barrack room. Ashley's, ooh, Ashley's lock. Don't mind if I do not. I already equipped. Boy. Alliance requisition officer. officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you head got? Out. You Whatever you want. Definitely Armor, Canadian. Weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses? Yeah, I, I get it. I'll buy the weapons. The goods. I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You bet. Hold. Holy, I don't have this kind of Omni gel. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're not gonna buy that. And we're gonna buy that. And the rest can uh, SMD, if you know what I'm saying. But let's sell some stuff. 10 and 11 sell them. Ooh, you know how, you know what I'm saying. That's that good, good. I even have my charm on max, and they're trying to sell me these things for outrageous prices. Nice, I got 10 experience and a codex. Doesn't change the fact that I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. I just freaking Omni slash my way in. Onwards and oh, oh, onwards and inwards. Dude, these look like Magic the Gathering cards of the future. So, uh, Magic Gathering cards, because Magic Gathering's never gonna die. <laughs> heck do you have on your he's got a power sensor from Dragon Ball Z ah oh, nav manual my favorite favorite member of the crew of the crew I'm glad you're okay commander losing Jenkins is hard enough on the yeah well I warned you he was talking such a big game I had to put him out of his I mean he died on his own <clears throat> Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Still stealing in the year 21 million, huh? Goddamn government. God. It's Harry Potter. Look at the size of that ship. Dude, look at the size of Caden's sideburns. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. All right. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. That is disgusting. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Dude, Joker has one long tooth. <laughs> Show me your tooth. Look at that bad boy. It's like he has a banana peel in his mouth. Or a lemon peel. Sorry, I'm ruining this epic, epic moment of dastardly proportion. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus system. I love him. 
Humanity He's a frogman. Risks when you went into the traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Does the ground team if that's half the crew, we're in big in trouble. You had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind! I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy. What did I do? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusation. Dude, just wait till Mass Spectre. The Council might use You're all dead. An excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. You're all done, though. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. But I'm shh! Renegade. Oh, Renegade plus two. Ah, yes, a tactical map. Very detailed. Sabina. Whoa. This is spicy. I, I don't know how I played this game on Xbox. There's so many, like, intricate button layouts and stuff. UIs, etc. Boom, baby. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings for a patrol in the Argus Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system! But was recalled before her team could... <laughs> Further, no patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Send in Frick. He's a master of the Hydra. Oh, I see they still have uh, plants in the year 400. <laughs> what an interesting sentence out of context. Even with context, it doesn't make much sense. It's Frogman. Screw you, blue lady. It's... Time to talk to a frog, man. This race is fantastic. Too bad he's fucking toasted. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Ha, <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. Talking about being good, I will acquiesce a cut right here because... Santa Pepper, he's coming down the chimney if you know what I'm saying. Hey, Lamau, we're back at it again. With the greetings and welcome to the Presidium. Uh, I feel like Are You Real is a little offensive, but let's so are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined <laughs> locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. I don't- I don't think this would ever be possible to actually program. Cause I- I could be like, Hey Avina, suck my butt! And she would have to have like a pre-ordained sentiment to respond to that? I- I don't- I don't know about that Give one. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies oh, of the various nice. Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. He's looking around as if he actually cares. Level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the council meets Damn, Avina's looking thick. Interstellar importance. All right, see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avina. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. How? Is there actually word? There's no words on there, you freaking dingus. Citadel tower is the tall white structure far off to your right let's check it out the well, I don't see it the tower to my right is that it uh, that might be it I guess maybe 
want to talk to people. What are you looking at, bud? You know who I am? I'm Commander Freaksack Shepard. Yan? Oh. Uno momento, por favor. Sam Zeddy. Sam Zeddy. There we go. Where are we go? Oh, no, no, that time I did not mean to do that. What's our quest? Our quest objective. Oh, can we level up? No. I'm looking like, uh, it's a little higher on Paragon right now, but we can change that. Journal. Oh, wow, that actually gave me a quest to go to the hive. That's cool. Go to the Citadel Tower. Okay, so I was heading in the right direction. Motion blur seems to be only affecting uh, Shepard right now. Oh my god. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I love him. Oh! I... I thought... So the first time I did it... Let me... Let me explain myself. The first time I threw it, it looked like a melee attack. So I was like, oh, I've unlocked melee. So I went to go do it again. And boy howdy. That was not melee. So I'd like to issue a formal apology for throwing two grenades at the people of Eden Prime. Look at that bug thing over there. Excuse me? What is... Where are your eyeballs? No. This is no joke. Oh my god. This is why she's got such good aim. Alright. I'm sorry. Avina. If that is your real name. It's a to Citizadel Tower. If you ever talk bad about the keepers again, you're toasted. I'm telling you now. What the heck is that bug thing? I've only been raised in the year 20 million 44. Oh, it's elevator music. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. <sighs> Still playing nineteen forties elevator music in the year four five four four. The elevator music didn't end. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, he's alive! No, this is it. This is her her wife. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Boy. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You blew it! <laughs> Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Hey, I'm trying Good to talk to... Maybe they'll listen to I'm trying to talk to my boy Garrus here, boy. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Yeah, all right. Time for some speech checks. This is where the game gets real good. What, you got a problem, bud? 
just gave him a little peck. You think that would burn his skin? I wanna check the settings real quick. Just just to make sure the texture settings. Oh, Mass Effect must be restarted for the oh, you know what? We might just I might just do that, because I'd like to see the game in its entirety. In its beauty. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Alright, how's it looking? It does look maybe better. Yeah, seems good. What is a volus? Oh, nice! This guy's on my side. I bet all these bird cases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positioning to break each other's heads. You got a weird brain, Ashley Williams. Can I talk to the keeper? He is my son. Captain Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. What took you so long? Well, I was reading about the Hydra Prefect. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly... I mean, can you blame them? They're kind of right. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. Why is he here? That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. We gotta anger him. We can get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. Mm, I see. Prime report. I was unimpressed. But Saren, I saw you in a cutscene. From a human. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Dude, you can actually see his beard a little Your bit. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. Oh, that bad dream. Triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. I'm a man of action, not words. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. I don't know if there was anything I could do there. I don't know if there's other options. But I, like I said, I'm a man of action. I will find a, a way. mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As Just a kill him. He's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing. Good idea, Caden. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Don't worry, I got him. We could find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. 
His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Wow! I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Oh no, he's gonna fire him. Office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. And neither leads Maybe Captain. There's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Rumor Broker. Rumor has it. The Shadow Broker? Shadow an Broker. Information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? And Saren have a history. We were lovers in a past what life. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operated. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. Yeah, I agree. I know how the world works. Though. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. He's a monster. I know how the world works, Commander. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Oh, no Paragon, huh? Paragon is Paragon. Alright, we're looking for Gareth. No, not Gareth. Who are we looking for? Garrus. So we're going to Cora's Den. Uh, Cora's dead. To something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Oh, hold on. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Frogman. Don't make me intimidate you. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers. I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Charm is coming in. Relax. It's Just gonna tell be me what okay. you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Uh, I, I'm also interested in the keepers. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. I got you, Shorbin. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for Ooh. each unique scan. Tell me why you're doing this. What though. are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can. All right, I'm in. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Why you gotta use tick? Yes. Just because they look like bugs? Hot huh, Chorbin? So long, and good luck with the scanning. He's interested in these bug men. Because he's a frog. Well, this is the easiest quest. You just go looking around for keepers, give him a little pat on the back. Ooh, who's that? An admiral? Kohaku. Uh, Kohaku gave my game a 4.10 out of 10. Commander. 4.10 out of 10, you say? Uh, a 4.10, isn't that just a, a 5? Actually, a 4.10 is just a 4.1. Look it up, sweetie. 
Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's Shepard. Oh. None of these doors are real. Oh, I... No, I did it again! <laughs> There's been a terrorist attack on the Citadel. Hmm, I wonder who it was. Maybe it was Sargon. What's his name? Siren. Also, do we have any more upgrades? Close, but no cigar. To Presidium. Oh my! Jesus Christ. Back at it with the portal music. So, you guys get around here often? I can't believe the council ignored all I love these conversations in the Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take in the elevator. Dude, if I had Geth troopers, I'd run around too. Geth are actually the coolest things ever. Oh, Ashley. That's her one liner. I hate politics. <gasps> it's a keeper. Please do not disturb the keeper. Scan. Thank you. Dude, this is the easiest way to make that fat cash money. Don't talk to me. <gasps> I love him. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Oh, he's a, he's like trying to spread his religion. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers. Hmm. And thus, no permit should be necessary. I mean, I kind of disagree. We'll see. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. This guy's smart, but I don't... Should we just let him preach? Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the All right, let me see what his opinion is. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? I thought I thought I was saying I'm not smart enough. Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirable. What does that even mean? It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battle ah, religious see. war. This is a tough moral quandary because I believe that he has the freedom to preach what he wants to. But I also agree that this might not be the place to do it, but I don't know. 
If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Let's see what my journal says. You spoke in both the Hanar and the Seasack office. But you see... Oh, Jesus. Can't you just buy? Has the Seasack officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. Can't force your way they in. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you. There's trouble anyway. I'll buy his permit. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. I, I get this that, but we gotta reach a compromise. In order to speak the truth. <laughs> he doesn't have the money! The 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. All right, there you go. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here. For your Let's go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. We got plus 10 experience and a medi gel. Was that worth it? I don't know. I mean, I feel good. I feel good about the situation. By paying for the Evangelical permit, evangelical permit for the Hanar, you were able to make both sides happy. The Hanar left to preach in an appropriate location. Dude, that is exactly what I aim for when I play these types of games. I like to make everyone happy, but yet don't choose sides, because then that leaves me with the most options. Like killing Ashley Williams. But maybe we'll do that next time. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed... Thank you. I'll be back at it again with another massive attack. Effect KOTOR edition. Goodbye. That's it.